My dad, Vincent Granville, grew up in Belgium. In 1996, at the age of 32, he left Belgium for work in the UK. His mentor, Richard Smith, told him that it would be harder to move from the UK to the US than moving from Belgium to the UK, but Vincent didn't feel that way. Emigration from Belgium has been pretty up and down, but more people were coming to Belgium than leaving in 1996. He left Belgium for work. It's a socialist country, so there's not much room for being successful. When recalling his experience in America, my dad didn't mention much, much discrimination besides the time he complained about America, and someone told him that he's lucky that he got accepted into the country and should go back to Belgium if he doesn't like it. Other than that, he was mostly accepted, despite his accent, probably because he was European and white. He came to the U.S. after the 1965 Immigration and Nationality Act. It didn't really do much for him, though, because he wasn't coming from Asia, which was where the law restricted the amount of people allowed to come to the USA. But it did show that the USA was now more accepting of immigration because they were changing these restrictions and that attitude in America may have helped them not face as much discrimination. When he came to America, he started in North Carolina, then went to New Jersey, the Bay Area, and finally Washington. My dad was in Iowa, which is known for its cattle. So naturally, he wanted to try steak. So he asked the waiter, what's the best steak? And the waiter points to the menu. It's this 32 ounce steak, which is two pounds. But Vincent didn't know the imperial system, so he ordered it anyway. And when it arrived, he ate the whole thing. Vincent has a Belgian driver's license, and once he was pulled over, the police officer took a look his, at his license and was like, what state is that? One time, me and my family came back from Friday Harbor from a boat that had earlier stopped by Canada. So we had to go through customs. But since we didn't go to Canada, we didn't have passports with us. But my dad did have his green card, so they let us back into America. I used to not like Belgium very much, but after talking to my dad about his experience, I don't feel that way anymore. I'm glad that I'm American in Belgium. Je suis contente que je peux parler français, but my experience is mostly American. And after asking my dad about citizenship, he told me, I never asked to be a Belgian citizen. Citizenship was imposed on me. I'm a citizen of the world and even the universe.